In MCC3, a new building game was introduced, Big Sales at Build Mart, a game that requires fast application skills, memory, coordination, and communication all in one. These skills are not often demonstrated in the competitive space in a greater strength at the time, so this game is really unique to the scene. Besides, well, build battle, uh, remember that. In MCC14, it got a redesign with more accessibility to blocks in mind, and in MCC24, it got a sense of Mart Remix, which is essentially build Mart in the sense of time map. What was common in all events described was, well, the hatred of the game for some of the players as well as some viewers of MC Shamanship. Let's discuss, why did it happen? And are there any ways to fix this issue of the hatred of this tiny little game? Alongside the sense of Mart Remix with mobs and everything, one significant change that is also introduced is the redesigned Mesa Madness map, with the map being closer and tighter than the original one. So, with that change out of the way, let's discuss Build Mart. Now, this game, as I've mentioned, tests a lot of other skills that are not that dominant in the competitive space. You don't use your PP skills here, nor will the movement skills you have impact on how you would perform. But instead, you use your mental skills in remembering of what you need and communication skills in talking to your teammates. This leads to some players who are only good at PP or movement or both to not do well in the game. This also leads to the first reason as to why this game is hated so much. My streamer is not good at the game. You can see instance of very popular content creators voicing their opinion about the game on streams and during the game itself, where they express that they just don't like the game because they don't do well and or don't believe that they can do better than well their unfortunate performances. This also translates to well fans of said content creators not liking or even hating the game. If you go on Twitter or heck given the r slash mcc subreddit and search for Build Mart, adjusting the search dates to be when the game is the most talked about and you will see polls regarding the game and to be quite frank, harassment towards the Nox crew, Scottish Major or any other people involved in either creating the game or just liking the game in the first place. The latter types of posts are unacceptable and really are exaggerated just because your streamer doesn't like the game. The former type of posts, however, have some valid discussion as well, especially on the subreddit where thoughts are expressed in a detailed way. One has expressed that this is like when Green hated Paco Warrior so much before it got redesigned. One has also expressed that the reason this became prominent is all about herd mentality. Now for those who don't know, herd mentality is when the same thought is expressed and spread across a group of people. And with these streamers who don't like the game, this mentality would often spread across their fan base and result in well, harassment, drama, and more, as well as also some valid criticism as well to mention. This is very ne negative, I'd say, and it can hurt the event itself more and more. But that's not only the reason as to why Buildmart is a controversial game on its own. Another reason is the rewatchability of this game. Now, if I ask you, if you watch, let's say, a MCC16 VOD, do you watch the whole thing? Well, obviously you don't, but do you watch Buildmart in that event? The majority of you may answer, no. Now, the reason as to why it is like this is because Buildmart is more focused 
on getting things done rather than creating moments like in other games. There's little to no pop-up moments like, hey, here's a chain of builds that are done in a minute, you know, that was the case for MCC7, but it's just pure concentration to do well in the game. The only moments you can gather were mundane ones like planning, comps, or fails. That's really it for the game. Billboard has been in discussion since the beginning, and is a controversial game to most of the people. Allegedly, those reasons, as well as some clear flaws of the game, lead them to being benched in the Canon event series, and only appeared mostly in non-canon events. So, what will it take to bring the game back for canon events and fix the problems that I've mentioned? Well, there are some possibilities that this game can be fixed. Firstly, they may look into several key aspects of the game, those being duplication, transportation, and resource gathering, and possibly try to tweak it to make it more appealing to both the audience and the viewers. Maybe adding efficiency to the tools? Who knows? Another approach could be to look into significantly changing the game like in Bingo or Ace Race, where the premise is the same but the design is tweaked or different. This will depend on the Nox crew themselves of course to brainstorm, but there are plenty of suggestions that have been made like making a checklist for example. But this will require extensive testing to make sure if it is right. There are so many, so many ways to quote unquote fix Buildmark and to be locked again by the MCC community and the casual viewers of the event via their streamers and such. But for now, it is what it is and the hatred or dislike is still here, abide it not being too vocalized now because of either people moving on from MCC or just don't express this opinion anymore. Either way, if you go back to Twitter and search for Build War again, this time without the dates, you will see some good old copy pasta about the game. Uh, yeah. With that, who knows what will happen to the game in the future. Next time, it's time to get on the MCC yacht and discover the mysterious island of MCC Island and see what is the history behind the server and the effects of the server both in MCC itself and the community. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Evolution. This is MCC24 and of course with the Sense of Mark remakes we have to talk about Beardmark. And this has been also a long time coming since as so since the drama is a little bit died down, we could just analyze on what happened to the game itself because of like those mentality and nobody or almost no one has mentioned too much about it and also discuss and summarize into full detail. So this is like somewhat of a video to do to just do that and to see how we could move forward in the future, to say the least. Next time is MCC Island. We're gonna just go over the history, cover the history of the server, as well as effects and more, including well, how it affects in Paco Warrior, for example, it affects in Top Toss or Battle Box or any other games, as well as you know, game nights or something like that for the for like the MCC community. So yeah, it would be nice to cover. Anyway, though, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week with another Hall of Fame. Otherwise, though, keep on watching your Shuffle. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.